Hey everybody, I am just doing a bit of a quick update today on what I've done uh, since the last video. I actually haven't spent that much time painting um, the last few days. I ended up working over the weekend, but I have done some stuff. Um, one, I uh, I took the blue hair and I actually um, ended up painting uh, the purple into it that I was um, saying I was going to do, and um, ended up doing some blue washes and then highlights of um, really light purple as well. Um, I uh, did some details, you know, just like the thing that's attached to the hair there. I, I ended up um, painting, fading the green or doing some, some blending to the top of the green to the bottom. You can see it, it sort of has a gradation of green there and I did that as well for the, um, the, the actual cloth as well. Um, one of the things I did as well is I I weathered the, um, the the steel, the oily steel plates. Um, let's see if I can get a good look here. And so it gives it a bit more of a, I think it gives it a bit more of an ancient look. And I also did some highlighting of actual ruined fang steel on the, the plates as well, um, on the front plate. And so like there are some areas that it's a bit brighter right now on the, the daylight bulb on the top. And that's just where it's shining a bit. It's hard to see and I probably have to go over the top of it but I actually painted a really light gray to white uh, on the the sort of detailing on those plates um, just to kind of continue with the white look a bit. And I think I'm gonna have to brighten that up a bit because I've weathered over it. Um, in addition to that, uh, that you know that's really mainly it is the weathering the hair. Um, I did do like on the fist in certain areas some gray highlights as well, um, just to, to brighten up a little bit. Um, but I'm actually not really brightening up that stone. I did on it, like you could see maybe on the bicep too, the biceps. I did do a little bit of highlighting, you know, on the foot and the kneecap. Um, but I'm not going to be doing too much because I do want the contrast with the green. Like I don't want to get it too light and then not have, then lose that contrast with the green coming out. Um, one thing I did notice, it's sort of interesting, is um, in general, I'm not a photography expert, um, but since painting miniatures I've noticed that with different kinds of bulbs it really brings out colors and miniatures differently. Um, for those of you that are longtime watchers of the channel, you'll notice that I in the past have done a lot of my showcasing on a sort of um, espresso table that's upstairs and uh, you always used uh, a overhead daylight bulbs because I found the softer tone really brought out my miniatures better and Actually, this is a daylight bulb that I actually have here. Um, but for whatever reason, occasionally I find fluorescence, although not normally with my miniatures, occasionally they actually bring out the colors in a way I like, I like them better. And this miniature in particular, when I put it under the fluorescence, I find it actually looks a little bit better to me. I don't know what you guys think. Um, it, perhaps it's just the, the harshness of it and the style of miniature it is. But... Um, I actually like it a little bit better under the under the fluorescence in this case. It's almost like crisper or something. Um, I know I'm probably just being Mr. Obvious for some folks. Um, by the way, that's um, brush restore in case you, your imagination was just wandering as to what that yellow stuff could be in a jar. <laughs> Um, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, like I actually find that, uh, on the, under fluorescence, he just looks really, really cool. Um, at least I think so. I don't know. Um, but I am kind of getting to a close on, on some of the stuff that I'm planning on doing. I have to do the, the decal. One of the things that I, I wanted to show today, um, was just how he looks alongside some of my other models. And um, one other comment I just wanted to make too is, you know, typically, and I, this will come out when I show my other Eldar models, typically with Eldar, um, they're like a futuristic force, right? And, and they're supposed to be, uh, granted this is in the year 40K, but they're, they're supposed to be a really high level of technology beyond man, you know? And so with that usually comes really clean lines and sophisticated look. Um, my approach with the avatar 
has been different than with my, my typical Eldar models. And although I want him to blend in, I my interpretation is he's kind of ancient and it, you know he's a, he's a god going into a statue but that um, in a lot of ways um, I want like sort of an ancient feel now I hadn't I hadn't really said that in the beginning of the videos I wasn't explicit explicitly going for that when I started I was wanting what I said explicitly in the beginning is I wanted a cosmic look um, I wanted him to look Bealton but cosmic but when I started doing this and looking at the armor plates on the shoulder, they don't look like, despite the ruin, like, you know, that's on there in the stones, they don't look typical Eldar. Like, if you look at Guardians, you know, uh, you look at any of the aspects, you look at Wraith Knights, you know, you look at whatever, they don't typically have that style shoulder pad. Um, I call it a shoulder pad, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And for me, even the bracers, they look almost like a knight, you know, not a wraith knight, but like an actual, like a knight from like medieval in some ways to me, you know, but then of course we've got this, which is very much elder. But I sort of interpret this as sort of like the battle hungry god, you know, imbuing into the stone statue and coming to life. And it's just, it's not a wraith construct, you know, it's, it's, it's an ancient force you know, coming through. And so for me, although I wanted to do silver instead of golds just because of the black look and things like that, the weathering that I'm doing is what I'm getting to really. The weathering of it is, I don't typically weather and show gritty, you know, with Eldar. With this one, it's not horribly weathered, but I did go for that kind of look a little bit for that reason. Um, but having said that, um, I'm going to just sh show you, I I'm, I'm, apologize, I'm not doing the tripod today, I'm actually going a bit more freestyle, because I'm going to put them in my cabinet, next to my other guys now. Base isn't finished, of course, but I kind of did this to just see, sometimes it really helps just to see, how is this guy going to look on the table? And I probably should put him more directly under the light, so because he is a dark miniature in general. But, this is sort of my Eldar. You know, very much, I think, typical Eldar style, you know, of, like, just not heavily weathered and things. But having the the um, the avatar in there with all of the greens that I did put in, I actually think he looks pretty good in the mix. He looks different, but I kind of want him to look different. But I think he actually fits, like, as far as the color scheme. And that was really the goal that I always had all along was to definitely, sorry, going out of focus there, is definitely to have him fit with the others. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I am just about done. Like, I have to do some, I am going to do some um, soul gems. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually not going to be, I'm only going to do a couple of them sort of bright, probably towards the center. So like on that that stone in the center plate and maybe on the head, but the others I'm going to be painting but not overly bright um, because I don't really want the gems to stand out. Like I actually want what I've done like as far as the green um, highlighting and the cracks and stuff to stand out more, to bring your eye more to that. And so, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at so far and I'm actually quite, quite happy with them. Um, I actually can't wait to use them on the table. I've never used an avatar before. And so, and only because I've always waited for this model to come out um, in order to, to, to then be able to use him. So, I shouldn't say come out. Um, he's always been out, actually, since I've been in the um, back in the hobby. Um, I actually wanted to just wait to last February. I got my first Forge World order. I never purchased from them before. And then just always had something else that I wanted to do in front of him. So... Alright, hope you guys are having a good week so far. Talk to you later.